We're live here at Main Street Station on 95.7 The Hog. I'm here with Ted Vernon, South Beach Classics. Good morning, Daytona Beach. This is Ted Vernon from South Beach Classics. I'm up here for Biketoberfest. I'm riding an Indian Springfield motorcycle. We're going to be rocking and rolling the whole weekend up here, and it's fantastic. You got everybody having a good time. Everybody's having a blast. Everybody's cool. I'll be downtown, Main Street, be all over the place. Come join me. We got the team in the car and we're on the run. We know what it takes to be number one. And we'll be riding high when the day is done. We're just out here having fun. I've been buying, selling, and trading classic cars for over 40 years. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. You could call it work, but for my team, it's a whole lot more. I'm Ted Vernon, and this is my place, South Beach Classics. Woo! We're here in Daytona Beach, Florida at Biketoberfest, and it's gonna be a hoot. This is great, man. Ready to rock and roll. So this is the pocket guide with all the local activities, our vendor map. We have local rides. This is the most popular ride we have. Is that the loop? Yes. yes. I heard about that. What about Main Street tomorrow? How's that? It'll be packed. Packed. Yeah. From sunrise to sunset. It's really the place to go to be seen. A lot of fancy bikes. What about this destination place? Destination Daytona. It's like yeah. uh, Las Vegas for Harley Davidson enthusiasts. Huge showroom, two floors of motorcycles, new and used. What about the actual Daytona Speedway? All the major manufacturers are at the Speedway and they're doing demo rides. A ton of vendors out there. Vendor map. Vendors are more than there. So those concerts? Yes, they're having a Jackal concert at Destination Jackal. Daytona. What about doo -wop? Oh look, give me two minutes. I'm sure there's a venue that yeah? does doo -wop. Well, I'm positive. You tell me that, there's I'm there. There's a venue that has any kind of music you can imagine. Oh good, find me doo -wop. Well, I'm in. Maybe. Are car guys like me treated well at a bike event? We're Warm and friendly to everyone, no matter how many wheels you have. It seems yeah. to be that way. Yeah. I'm loving it. A lot Thank of you. southern hospitality. Thanks. We'll Good see to meet you next year. Guys. You know, there's so many core areas that are fun to do. There's Riverfront on the beach, there's Destination Daytona, there's Main Street. There's stuff going on everywhere. Biketoberfest attracts a lot of great people, killer bikes, and some awesome cars. I'm gonna make some deals this week and I can feel it. We're here at my favorite eating place at the weekly car show here in Daytona Beach. I've been uh, looking at a lot of cars that are interesting to me. The General Lee is really nice. There's a Chevelle convertible right next to it that's sharp. There's a little hot rod there with no roof on it that's chopped and channeled. There's a pickup truck over there and there's a little Model A replica. The Chevelle is my number one target right now. It's gorgeous, convertible. I could use it. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Ted Vernon. Hey, Charlie Lawson, how are nice you? Nice to meet you. Beautiful car. Thanks. Real original car, isn't it? One repaint, original engine, tranny, build sheet. So it's a real matching numbers yep. SS. numbers matching SS. Totally original. I could drive this car back to Miami? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be scared to take it anywhere. My car is a 1970 Chevelle 396 four-speed convertible with a build sheet, all original except for one repaint. I bought the car in 2003. It's part of the family. Well, this is as original and straight a car as you can. Oh, yeah. Build sheet. Yeah. So let's uh, let's try to convince you to sell me this car. What would it take? It's a special car. It's a 70. It's a big block. It's a super sport. It's a matching numbers car with a build sheet. And I want to buy it, and I want to take it home. Most guys have a price at the end of the day, but some people just won't sell. But most people will come and give you a number. I want to buy the car in the low to mid 30s. I'm going to hit him in the mid to high 20s. You know, take his temperature, see where he's at. The car's not really for sale. I come here quite a bit, eat supper, hang out, mingle. I'm a collector. I've got quite a few cars. i got a restoration shop. You know, we build. I mostly collect. We don't sell a lot. I'm kind of attached to them. But everything's for sale. I'll listen to see what he's got to say. How long have you had this car? 03, 02, 03 I bought this it's car. Too long, man. Time to sell it. Time to cash it in. I'd have to be somewhere around 50 if I was going to sell it. I'm pretty attached to it. I'd like to teach this car Spanish and get it back down to Miami. Well, for 50 grand, you can take it home and teach it. I can't pay 50 grand, brother. I got to buy this car to resell it. I'd like to be about half that. I'd be very happy. I can't do that. How about 30 grand and we call it a night? Let's go and be done. I'll buy you dinner. No, I can't. Oh, he likes the car. I can tell in his eyes he likes the car. I hit Ted at 50000 Like I said, I'm not here to sell the car. We'll see what it does. If, you know, if he comes back with a reasonable offer, I'll listen, but I'm not really all that interested. Charlie is not real hot to sell the car. Charlie does not need the money, and this is not going to go easy. It's going to be a tough deal. I'm going to hit him back and try, but uh, I mean, I hit him at a quarter because I am in the car business, and, you know, we're not close, so I don't know. I don't have a lot of confidence in buying this car, but I'm gonna try hard. Charlie, I really wanna buy your car. I offered you 25, okay, that's not enough. 
Hit me back. Let's do something. I, if you want to sell it, let's do something. I'd like to buy the car. I'm standing here with the money to buy your car. Well, I was at 50, you know. I, I was 45. If it starts with a four, I can't buy the car, OK? I just can't. Let me really lay it on the line, OK? My pop that I can pay you and hope to get out is 35 grand. I didn't want to pay 35 grand, but I'll pay 35 grand to buy the car. That's a lot of money, brother. I can't do 35, Ted. I've had it a long time. Hit me with your best shot. I'm done. I'll do 37, but you got to go inside and make a pizza with my buddy Joe so I can have some pizza. I'm hungry. You get this right. You'll sell it to me for 37, and I got to go make a pizza with Joe? You go inside and make a pizza with Joe. I like pepperoni. I don't like onions. I'll do the deal. Otherwise, I'm, I'm going to have to keep it. And I'm not got... sure you can toss a pizza. I'm not either, but I'll make the bet. All right, let's do it. All right, it's my car, brother. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Yep. We're driving this back to Miami. So make it no problem. I'm in. Thank you. I didn't really want to sell the car, but Ted's persistent, so I sold it. Ted really doesn't have a chance to toss some pizza with Joe. Joe's been doing it his whole life, so we'll see how it goes. Should be funny watching him. I'm going to eat the pizza that Joe makes. Who's going to eat pizza that Ted makes, you know? Ted's a car salesman. I did the impossible today. I bought a car that wasn't for sale. I think this car will do 50 grand at home. There's always a catch with these deals. He's making me do a pizza catching or pitching or whatever contest with JoJo here. Man, I don't know. This is going to be tough. For 36 years, we've been Giuseppe's Steel City Pizza here in Port Orange in the Daytona Beach area. We kicked off our bike night during our car show night tonight. Pizza cars and motorcycles all goes hand in hand for us. OK, here we go. Flour, dough, sauce, cheese, that's your board. Press it out, put it on your board. One ladle of sauce goes on your pizza, cheese goes on top of the sauce. Did you catch all that? I got nothing. You got nothing. Let me tell you. I'll leave the pizza making to Giuseppe's. JoJo and his dad, those guys know what they're doing. Ted's pizza tossing skills really aren't worth that much money. He better stick to selling cars. Come on, buddy. I'm trying. I'm waiting on you. Take it easy. Oh, man. I don't know if I'd call that pizza. Maybe tomato soup on bread. I'm not sure what you want to call that. All right, here we go. Do this. Let's do it. Oh, my god. When I saw my pizza come out with that big bubble, I saw this is a disaster. So much sauce. I made a mess. I can't sell that, man. I get a call back on that. I have to replace that, man. I'm going to try to break the world record for making the most pizzas in an hour. I don't think I can break the record with Ted on my staff. I could break the record for selling pizzas if Ted was on my staff, because Ted's a heck of a sales guy. But as far as a pizza maker goes, I think I'd hire somebody else. There's good. There's, there's good. You know, it's pretty tough to mess up a pizza. It still didn't taste bad. Without a question, the best pizza in Daytona is Giuseppe's. Ain't nobody close. Main Street in Daytona. I'm meeting Tony this morning. He's got a 67 Camaro for sale that he says is gorgeous. And if it is, I want to buy it. He hit me at 32 grand, but he says the car is immaculate. A lot of people tend to exaggerate their car. They're in love with it. They, they think it's something it's not. If it's what he says it is, it's worth the money. You must be Tony. Hey, pleased to meet Ted you. Ted Vernon. Nice Good. to meet you. Good. Pleased to meet you. This is your 67, This huh? is my 67. It's my labor of love here. Uh, it's a 1967 Camaro RSSS. Put it together two and a half years with help of friends of mine. We did the motor, the body, interior. I had it for about nine years, and uh, I'm looking for something else, I guess. Just a change, that's all. Talked to Ted on the phone, and I agreed to meet him on Main Street early in the morning to avoid all the crowds. The original 327 uh, has a humpback heads on it. A 700R4 transmission uh, runs real well. It's a nice car. It's a real RSSS. It's not it a clone. Oh, yes. Yeah. It is straight as an arrow. Yeah, thank you. And it runs like it looks. It runs like it Watch looks. Your Underneath, it's just as clean. You know, Tony, a lot of people get really confused about the 67s and the 68 and the 69, the little differences. Right. Well, like, one of the big differences is the uh, vent windows. Right. 68, 69 does not have vent windows. They got astro ventilation. The biggest difference to me is that the 69s bring more money than the 67s or 8s. Well, that's in the eyes of the buyer, as far as I'm concerned. All right. But 69 is a great car. I'll accept that. Let me look at the interior. Yeah. Conditions everything in a classic car, and this car is above what I expected to see. The car is everything you said it is and more. Whoever laid this paint on here did a beautiful job. 
I mean, black paint will show every single fault. Yeah. And this is really, really great. And if really you look great. down the side, you see no waves in it. Nothing. Also, how the body work was done. Uh, I had a buddy do it, and he's got a hand as big as two of mine, and he'd run along the fender and the doors and say, little dent here, little dent, and he'd take I, it right you out. Know, the colors, popular colors, red, blue, black. Yeah. I think that's your best. Yeah. Don't oh, you? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you at on the money with this car? I'll take 32 for it. You know, Tony's asking 32 grand for the car, and it's worth every penny, and I'm going to buy it. I'm trying to think of a way of chopping them, and I don't find a way, but I'm going to buy the car. Uh, bottom line would be 32. If he wants to negotiate, we can negotiate, but I ain't going to budge. This is where I normally would beat you up on your price, but you're such a nice fella, and the car is exactly what you said it is. As much as it hurts me to do this, I'll pay you 32 grand. I'll take 32 grand. Good. It's my it was car. a pleasure. Well, pleasure talking. You're a pleasure nice man. I appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Done deal. This is a situation where Tony built this car, and he had his love in it, but he didn't have an idiotic price on it. The money's there. There's a profit in that car. It's going to be easy. So I'll pay his price. A lot of times when people built a car like Tony did, they want a lot more. They got a labor of love. And I asked him, what's he going to do next? He says, I'm going to buy another car and build it. So he's enjoying what he does. It all works for everybody. He's happy to see it go. I'm happy to buy it. And he'll build himself a new car for next season. I'm happy with the deal. They didn't beat me up at all. He was fair. Uh, his reputation of being tough, I don't believe it. I got my price, I'm happy. Oh, I'm going to miss the car, but uh, I'll get another one. So I've done my deal, and now it's time to go enjoy Biketoberfest. We'll have some fun on Main Street. It's getting busy down here. And that parking spot will be pretty valuable as soon as Ted moves his new car. Everything is good, man. I'm having fun. Looking around, seeing a lot of interesting stuff. A lot of historic places. Bikes are everywhere. Now, one of the downsides to traveling as much as I do is I don't get to see Teddy quite as much as I should. So I get to buy him a T-shirt. I get to buy him something to commemorate where I've been and where he's going to be. I'm sorry I didn't bring Teddy this year. I'll bring him next year. Hey, Ted Vernon. Chris. Hey, nice Chris. I want to buy a T-shirt for my son. Something okay. cool that uh, an 11-year-old would wear. Okay. Maybe something about biking. This is one of the most popular shirts right now. It looks like it's stitched. Yeah. I think that's about perfect. The skull on there, all the kids like the skulls these days, Do so. All right, I like it. I mean, I like the color. I don't have to look anymore, this works. Teddy's excited to see me come home. He knows I'm always bringing him something. I'm not a big shopper, but I, you know, you, you come to a place like this, you get a t-shirt to remember the good time. Everywhere I go, it's fun here. Cool things to see, cool people. Everybody's friendly. Just the people watching is a hoot. So you guys are here at Biketoberfest. Mm -hmm. Loving it? Yeah, I feel there's a lot of camaraderie among bikers and just people in general. Yeah, Everyone's is. out to have a good time. People up here are real nice. And there's young people, there's older people, there's really young people too. Yep. It's a family thing, I guess. So you're going to be here for the 25th anniversary of Biketoberfest? Definitely. Absolutely. You don't miss them. Nope. If I'm still alive, I'll be here. <laughs> So why did you bring your snake to Biketoberfest? Because he loves attention, and every time he, we bring him here, he gets lots of attention. Do you like Biketoberfest? I love Biketoberfest. Uh -huh. Wow. How long have you been growing up? Uh, I've tripped it off and on 95, I think. I got a starter kit, bro. Yeah, keep going, man. Keep I'm going. There's hope for you yet. <laughs> have you been to that destination, Daytona? No, no we haven't. You got to go to <laughs> it's not. Are you driving up? Yamaha. Yamaha. That answers that. Hey. Oh, that's if you go to Destination Daytona with that Yamaha, you're going to probably leave on a Harley. I'm die hard. Oh, they're great bikes. They run good, but they go down in value like crazy. Yeah. We don't worry they, about the Harleys. Don't. Don't run. Well, they do run. There I'll you give go. you that. Yes. I'm glad to hear that. It was really nice to meet you guys. It was really nice to meet you. The 25th anniversary Biketoberfest is going to be off the charts. I'm looking forward to it. I have Teddy with me. We'll have a blast. Riding an Indian motorcycle today that is just amazing, smooth, nice. I'm loving it. And I pulled in to park my bike and go do my car deal. I ran into a whole group of ladies. They're great, fun. And the Indian, 
is wonderful. I notice all you women with motorcycles. What's up? Well, we are an all-female riding group called Stilettos on Steel, and we are here to ride and enjoy the sights of Biketoberfest. Very cool. How many of you uh, are there? We have all together 300 members all over the state. Are you going to ride today? Yes, we are. Later on, yes. Maybe I could join you on your ride. Well, we have no problem. We'd love for you to come ride, but we do have rules. Rules? Rules. The rules for the men, because we are all female, you will have to ride in the back. It's the best view. Well, I'm, I'm with you. All right. My group is called Stilettos on Steel. We are an all-female riding group. We do not let just any guy ride with us, but he looked like a cutie, so we thought we'd let him come along. I can't wait to finish the car deal because I want to ride with these ladies. They're so nice. I'm ready to rock. You gotta be Derek. I'm Derek, nice to meet you, Ken. Nice to meet you. Pretty car. Thank you. I made an appointment to look at a Chevelle, some high-powered monster black, and I'm here to see it and buy it if I can. That seems to be Chevelle week. Bought one and now there's another one. I hope we get that and take two Chevelles home. That'd be great. It's a 69 Chevelle, frame-off restoration, 1,000 horsepower. It's a 427. The 396 block was replaced with a 427. Brodix heads, demon carburetor, fully bored and punched out, putting out about 960 horse to the rear wheels. Was this born an SS? It's a born an SS, a real black on black 396 car. I do have the original 396 motor that goes with this car. Goes Numbers with it. matching. Good. That way I can pull the motor out of this and put it in something else and put that motor back in and sell it as a matching numbers car. Yes, she can. It works. Chevelles are so popular, I wouldn't mind bringing a truckload of them home. They come and they go real quick. I don't have any attachment to the car. I just want to sell the car, so hopefully we can work out a deal. Well, tell me, how much can I pay for this $25,000 car? I want 50. I want my hair to grow back. OK. It ain't happening. The gentleman uh, is asking 50 for his car, and I just bought a convertible that was every bit as nice for 37. When the top goes down, the price goes up. So he's going to have to get real with me because that ain't worth what the other one's worth. When Ted said uh, he offered me $25,000 for the car, I wasn't real happy. Well, if uh, Ted comes too low, he won't get that 1,000 horsepower motor that goes in the car. Yeah, this is serious. Did you uh, build this motor? No. We just, we just plucked it out of another car. You got to hear the motor, though, Ted. You got to hear the motor. It's a nice car. It's got a lot of horsepower. I don't really sell horsepower, I sell cars. I want the car, but I want it where I can afford to resell it. I think I started right up to where I should be. If he's gonna be tough, I'm not buying the car. Uh, I think he was quite happy when he heard that car start. I'll go 38 and see what he does from 38. Derek, you know, I'm, I'm not knocking your car. 25 is a fair offer for a Chevelle like this. You know, get real with me, don't take shots at me. I'm, I'm in the car business like at, you. At, at about 33. That's, a, that's much more fair than where you were at. So you're getting back on my page. I may not mess with you. Cash money. Cash money. I'll pay $28,000 for the car. That's the end. I can't go more. We can't go to 29. Nope. You can't do another 1,000. Nope. I'm cash money done. I have a lot of other cars. Maybe we can do business on some other cars. I'd love to. I tell you what. For you, I'll do 28. Done. Done. Thank you. I really like the car and I appreciate it. I'm very happy with the price. I didn't think Derek would be quite as fair as he was, but he was fair. The reason I went 28 is I'm gonna pull this beefed up motor and put it in a race car that I have. And then I'm gonna take the original matching numbers motor from that car, put it back in and sell it matching numbers. I'll be just fine. Ted's real good at doing this dancing, back and forth. I thought he was gonna stay stuck on that 25. I didn't think he was gonna come up. This deal did open up the door for future deals with me and Ted. I guess I'm the one that's a lunatic going to a bike event and winding up buying two Chevelles. Couldn't be better for me. What a weekend. It's a monster.
I have seen some of the most magnificent motorcycles I've ever seen here at Biketoberfest, and I must say I could not have been treated better than I was this week in Daytona. Been on the radio, been to great restaurants, I've gotten some fantastic memorabilia. I hung out with my guy Giuseppe and Jojo at Steel City Pizza, although I got slammed on the pizza making contest. I went to the historic place on Main Street. I got my son Teddy a t-shirt. Biketoberfest would not be complete without a destination Daytona visit, which we got to do, and then want to ride the loop on an Indian motorcycle, pretty cool. And last but not least, it was a Chevy weekend for me. I got three pretty cars, two Chevelles and a Camaro. Works, and I make money this weekend by doing that. You know, the people are so friendly. I mean, this is a tourist destination. People that are here know it, and they make you feel good. And the people that come from all around the country are also quite nice. So it's just a great time. Friends, family, everybody, it's just great. I had so much fun at Biketoberfest this week, and I can't wait to come back for the 25th anniversary next year with Teddy, my son. Love a blast. I drove up on an Indian motorcycle that I really like, and I ran into this group of ladies. I asked them about riding later on, and they were absolutely gung-ho for it. Our riding group is called the Stilettos on Steel. We are based out of the Space Coast Division, and we are down in the Melbourne area. Biketoberfest is a great event. This will be my fifth or sixth year, I can't remember, but uh, every year it gets better and better. Uh, when Ted came up and asked if he could ride, it was a surprise, and it was a great opportunity, so we've decided to let him go ahead and ride and stick him in the back like the boys should be. Hello, ladies. Hey, I'm really good. Nice bike. Thank you. Are you going to ride with us today? Yeah, I want to ride. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, you can ride, but you got to be in the back. Got to ride in the back. I'm in. Amen. All right. All right, brother, let's go. Let's do this. Bikes and cars are great. It's a social thing. A way to connect with some cool people and have a blast. I'm really glad these ladies have let me tag along today.